I'm just gonna. Sh I'm not saying nothing. Let you enjoy this beautiful view. This is all home cooking here, boys and girls. These are all first cat peppers. Stout brangus. Most of these are F1 brangus. There's a few quarter bloods out of F1 cow brangus cows and Angus bulls. Stout calves on them. Angus side calves. Uh, that one white calf. <laughs> I think the Robin Bull that was supposed to be breeding these Angus actually crawled the fence because there was a obviously an Angus herd many calves across the fence. So I think the Robin Bull bred white Angus bull, but she's a beautiful heifer, isn't she? Green grass, I'll raise her in South Texas country. It's great. Uh, these are good young females. Got a long, productive life ahead of them. Exposed back. To a main Angus composite, actually, a, I guess an Angus, same Angus composite bull from John Griswold's. Griswold? <laughs> Griswold. Uh, obviously, John has a big sale every year in Oklahoma, grass to grid sale, exposure sale. Uh, stout, we use some stout, uh, like legend, main cross bulls on these cattle. Woo! 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 Stop them in the tracks, dude. Got them running back. You like that, don't you? You like that. <laughs> nice young cow, so really nice product. Got raised here in South Texas. Woo! Woo! Oh, look at that streak face cow. What's nice to love about her? Woo! It's been such a drought the past few years. You know, we didn't really breed these heifers really young or dry. So we let them get 18 months old before we turn bulls in them. So they calved at kind of two and a half. So they're got some size. You know, we wouldn't just cabin, you know, weighing 800 pounds, 600 pounds or bigger heifers are cabin. Woo!